Hello BookTube! Welcome to Lizzie Pay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and I can't remember what day of Vlogmas this is. I've lost track. But today I have for you a book haul. I'm going to be having at least two book hauls during Vlogmas. The first one is going to be a library book sale haul. And these are books that I purchased from two different library book sales. And then the next book haul I will have will be to show you the books that I bought at three different used bookstores that we went to on our Thanksgiving trip. The weekend before Thanksgiving week, they had a book sale at my very own library. I'm still a member of the Friends of the Library, so I did go and help out on Wednesday with setup. And then on Thursday and Friday, I shopped because Thursday was full price day and I spent $5 and got six books. And then on Friday, I came back and got several more at half price. And then that same day, I went to another library book sale that's in the neighboring county, the next town over. They were having a sale the same weekend and their full price was very comparable to our half price. So it was a good day for book sales and I really am excited about the books that I got at both of these sales. So let me start by showing you what I paid full price for at our library. Uh, four of them are mysteries. I got Sprinkle with Murder by Jen McKinley. This is the first book in the Cupcake Bakery Mystery Series and I have heard Bridget from Bridget Reads talk a lot about this series and she really likes it so I'm hoping I'll like it too. And then I got one other paperback. They were both 50 cents. It was a Beverly Lewis Christian fiction book, part of the Summer Hill series. And I've already loaned that to a friend because I knew I wasn't going to read it right away. So I don't have that to show you. I got four hardcover books at a dollar each. Uh, from the Benny Harper Mystery Series uh, or by Early Fowler, I got Kansas Troubles and I got Sunshine and Shadow. I also picked up a third book in this series that I realized when I got home I already had it. So the next day I took it back and I traded it for another book which I will show you in a minute. But then the other book that I got on full price day is Sonoma Rose by Jennifer Shiverini. This is one of the books in the Elk Creek Quilt series and I've read all of the books leading up to this one and I have not read this one. So I decided I would get it because I just never seem to think about ordering it from the library and I thought if it was sitting on my shelf maybe I will get to it sooner. Um, this this is a great series. I really have enjoyed it but I predominantly have listened to them on audio and the library did not ever get this one on audio. So I think that's kind of why I never got around to reading it. But I am looking forward to it. It's a beautiful cover and I'm glad I have it. Now back to the second day of our library sale which was uh, which was half price day. The hardcover books were 50 cents each. So I got a bunch of cozy mysteries and here's what I got. I traded in the book I had a duplicate of from the first day with one of these large child's scrapbooking mysteries. This is Fiber and Brimstone. I also got Motif for Murder. Now I already have this in paperback. This is book five but um, or no, this is book four but I also have two copies of book five and I had already given a friend of mine from church a bind up of the first three books so I figured I would just go ahead and get this and then I will give her the paperbacks of books four and five so because she's already read the first three and liked them so this way she can go ahead and have four and five and I will have hardback editions of these books. This looks like a Christmas one this is A Puzzle in a Pear Tree by Parnell Hall. This is part of the Puzzle Lady mystery series. I got Black Work by Monica Ferris. This is one of the Needlecraft mysteries. Um, this title kind of made me chuckle in lieu of the fact that the sale was right after the election. But Mrs. Jeffries holds the trump, apparently. And this is by Emily Brightwell. I got a copy of the first two or three of this series in my prize pack from the Save Our Cozies readathon. So when I saw this, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. And I got two books in the Jane Wheel Mystery Series by Sharon Pfeiffer. I got Lucky Stuff and Scary Stuff. Now on the second day of the sale at our library, the uh, most of the paperbacks were a quarter, but then they did a fill a bag deal for most of the mass market paperbacks, which basically amounted to the romances and the mysteries. So I found a whole box full of the John D. McDonald vintage paperbacks that I was able to fit all in one bag with room to spare, and I got those for my husband because he's had pretty good success selling those vintage John D. McDonald paperbacks on eBay. 
So I still had some room in the bag and I found a few cozy mysteries that I wanted. And then I was able to find a few of the inspirational romance books that I wanted to get for a friend of mine from church who is shut in right now. She loves to read, but she had a stroke and so she's getting up and around now but she's still not able to get out much and she reads like crazy so I wanted to get her a few books and of course I've already taken her those but here's the paperbacks that I got for myself I got Fruit of the Poisoned Tree by Joyce and Jim Levine this is one of the garden mystery series I only have one of these and I was kind of going back and forth about whether to unhaul the one I had and not try to collect this series, but you know, it was a fill a bag for a dollar, so I decided to go ahead and get this one. I was very excited to find the only one of the Charlotte Adams mystery series that I didn't have by Mary Jane Maffini. This is The Busy Woman's Guide to Murder, and this series is about organizing, so I'm really looking forward to reading these now that I have the whole set. I also got Dangerous Alterations. I believe this is book five in the Southern Sewing Circle mystery series by Elizabeth Lynn Casey. And I know I said I wasn't going to get any books from a series that I didn't already have started, but this one was just too enticing. It's Crops and Robbers, A Farmer's Market Mystery by Paige Shelton. I just couldn't help it. It's so bright and colorful and it just looks awesome. Now I got a couple of paperback cozy mysteries at the other library sale. I got Who Left That Body in the Rain by Patricia Sprinkle. Then I found Holiday Buzz. This is one of the Coffee House mystery series by Cleo Coyle. And then at the other library, I got one romance book. This is by Jill Shalvis, Rescue My Heart. It's one of the animal magnetism novels. And then I got a few Christian books. I got um, Christmas Vows, $5 extra by Lori Copeland. And I got Glory by Laura Copeland. I think this is another one of the Brides of the West collection. I have a bind up of three books, Faith, Hope, and June, and I believe this is another one from that collection. And then I got Child of Grace, also by Laura Copeland. And then while we're on the subject of Christian books, the friend I mentioned who is shut in, when I went to her house to take her the books, she let me look through a box of Grace Livingston Hill books that someone had brought her maybe from a yard sale and she already had all of those. And so she said, look in there and see if there's any of the ones you still need because she knows I'm trying to collect the whole set too. So I found one. It's called Exit Betty. And I got a Christian middle grade book. This is book two in the Elsie Dinsmore series. This is called Elsie's Impossible Choice. A few other middle grade books. I got one at a thrift store actually. This is called Hate That Cat. I couldn't resist getting this even though it was a dollar because I saw, uh, because a while back I saw Laura from Mom to Triplets 04 haul a couple of books by Sharon Creech. One is called Love That Dog, which I've read, and then Hate That Cat, which I'd never heard of. And I love cats, but I still had to get this book. So I was really excited to find it. I know it's not part of the library haul, but I'm not going to do a haul video of just one book. So I decided to throw it in here. And then at the li back to the library sale, I got a Gary Paulson book called Harris and Me. And I got another Sharon Creech book called Walk Two Moons. Now, I've read this before. I own it on audio, and I don't think I have a paper copy, but I'll probably end up putting this in a little free library somewhere or donating it to a teacher. And then for Katie, I picked up some Rick Riordan books. She had already read The Lightning Thief and Sea of Monsters by the time I got these, but Katie is a rereader, and I know that she will go back and reread these books. She just flew through the whole series and is now already reading Heroes of Olympus. So I decided to go ahead and pick these up. This first one's not in that great a shape. This is The Lightning Thief, but Sea of Monsters is in almost new condition. And then I also found a very good copy of The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. In fact, it looked almost new until Katie he took it on our trip and bent the corner and kind of uh, wore it out reading it but I wasn't upset with her for bending it although I think she was kind of upset with herself and then I kind of got this with her in mind I'm reading Ink Spell right now on audio and I wasn't really planning on collecting the series but Katie might want to read this I found this at the library sale I think it was 50 cents and I had just checked it out from the library so that I could reread the last chapter. So I went ahead and took the library copy back and I did reread the last chapter or two so that I could just kind of get up to speed on Ink Spell. Uh, this is Ink Heart, by the way, by Cornelia Funk and it is the first in the Ink World trilogy. And I think Katie might be interested in reading this at some point, so I thought it'd be good to go ahead and have it on hand. Now I got three nonfiction books. Uh, this is called Okinawa, The Last Battle of World War II by Robert Leckie. I'm very interested in this topic because 
My father fought in World War II and he served in Okinawa. So I'm very interested in reading this book and seeing what I can learn about the part of the war that my father was a part of. Here's an Atkins cookbook that I didn't have. Atkins, the complete cookbook. And it is beautiful. It's got full color photographs. So it's very nice. And one more. I got Quilting the Lodge Look. This is by Debbie Field. I got this for a quarter, the last day of our library sale. It is a um, book. It's quilt patterns that have kind of a lodge feel. And we are thinking we may build a log home when we build our home. So if so, this is kind of the feel and the theme that I would kind of like to go with. Uh, I'm not sure yet. We are still kind of looking at different ideas. But I thought for a quarter it would be worth having this. And maybe I can get my sister to make a quilt for me for our new house. Um, because I probably will never get around to doing it. <laughs> So that's all the books I got at the library book sale halls that were before Thanksgiving. So my next haul will feature books that we bought on our trip. So that's all for this video. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.